All right, in this tutorial, we're going to work on the eye region. And this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and append this tool right here. Go ahead and get my edit mesh out. Pen tool. So far, we've, uh, what I'm working on is the right eye. And uh, during the last video, I also worked on the face a little bit, softened it up. I really had a horrible chin. It was really sharp. And uh, my uh, friend here that I took a photo of has a pretty rounded chin. So you want to make sure. Make sure the information looks good. All right. So go ahead, make sure you spend the time, make sure the lips look nice. Um, and so far, ever so often hit uh, three, so you can see what it looks like in uh, subdivisional mode, so it's nice and smooth. All right. Another feature I've added um, between the, other, uh, the, the two videos is the eye. So I added just a polygon a sphere. And what I did is took it into the front view and I just kind of sized it up what I thought the size of the eyeball is. So this is just kind of a rough template. Could be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but this is a size that I think uh, would basically fit in the ocular uh, eye unit right here. I also went to my front view or my side view of my character and moved the eyeball up to basically where the iris is, make sure that lines up. Okay. It could be a little bit bigger, it could be a little bit smaller. I also, when I was in my front view, I hit a D, and what that'll do is allow you to move your center away from here, and I put it up, basically snapped it up to my x-axis here, and I did a duplicate special, so both my uh, spheres were placed apart from each other. All right, so I want to go ahead and save it. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to my edge view. And you're going to double click it, double click that, and I'm going to extrude it just so I have a little bit more definition on extrude. I hit W, I had an issue with not doing it with W. Let's go in here. All right. Move it back, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off my. If you don't see it pulling away, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my reflection so I can pull this back. And hit R. Squeeze it down just a little bit, not too much, just uh, squeeze it down so you can see uh, behind the eye. All right, so I'm going to go to my front view. Turn back my reflection so I can work on this. W. OK, I'm going to turn my tolerance down. Vertex. Let's be aware. If you ever screw up and there's one side, it doesn't look like the other side. You can always delete the whole face and duplicate special and then re-stitch uh, these together. So if you really screw up, don't worry about it. You can always fix this uh, stuff. So basically what I'm doing is just make sure my tolerance is good and I'm just pulling in a little bit for the eyelid area. Pull these in. I'm going to adjust them. Fit into that membrane there. OK. 
Okay, I'm almost done here. Let's look at these. Just pulled it in just a little bit. So this is all going to change when we start adjusting it to the sphere here. All right, I'm also going to go ahead and edge, double click, double click the other side. I'm going to turn off my reflection. There's other ways of doing this, but anyways, I like doing it this way, W. I'm going to go ahead, double click that hit bar. Oops, apple Z. I'm going to turn on my reflection. Let's spread them out at the same time. I'm just going to pull this back a little bit. Okay. The R. Let's line it up. Let's just have a little bit more depth if you need it. Okay. So we know what we want to do is just start. the reference of the eye. So we're going to want to move some of this stuff back so it snaps with the eyeball. Okay. See how that snaps? Don't want to go too far. Again, make sure your symmetry is on. Don't want to have to do this twice. Again, if you screw up, you can always delete this stuff and redo it. All right, just pulling this back. Forward. Forward real quick. Let's see where my geometry is. It's a helpful feature to know where your hot keys are. If it looks strange, it'll look uh, good in just a second. Okay. Just make some subtle adjustments. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just make it. Do need it to hug the eyeball. Alright, so I'm just gonna look real quickly what this looks like. Alright, looks pretty good. Alright, from even the side view, you can see that that curvature of the eyeball is looking pretty good. Alright, again, you can make your little adjustments. But actually, I'm pretty, pretty happy with what we have here. All right. Get forward. Okay, make sure it's doing symmetry. All right, looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is going to do a couple more cuts. I'm going to do actually three more on my eye area. I'm going to do my insert edge loop tool. And do one, go to my front view, hit five, vertex, and what I'm going to do is kind of make it tight in this area, and then spread these out as they wander out from the face. All right, we're going to do maybe two more cuts here. Or two more edge, insert edge loop tool. So we're going to get this wider and wider over here. Pull this back. Pull these down. Okay. 
but he's up a little bit higher up. Looking pretty good. Make sure your symmetry is on. Up to the brow line here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so it looks pretty good, but then let's go to the side here. It could look pretty bad. Okay, so we have this kind of fatty tissue. Also be aware of your eyeball. The eyeball, you don't want it going in. This is bulging out, so you make sure around the eyeball here, you see it's bulging in around the orbit of the eyeball, but then it, it will slope in after that. So just be aware of that when you're modeling. Bulges out. Okay, looking pretty good so far. Don't see any major issues. Again, you'll probably want to go back and really spend the time. It's pretty good. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Look one last time on my side view. Just looking for a nice gentle curve here. Alright, it's looking pretty good. So we'll hit five, I can see that. Nice gentle curve. Looking beautiful. Alright, let's keep going. We're gonna do another insert. I said we're gonna do a total of three. So we're gonna do an edge loop one more time. Okay. My vertex. Again, you want them kind of tight in this area. Crease of the eye. Go down a little bit further. Break this out. this over a little bit. Okay. Put this down. It's a bridge of our nose. Okay. Just look at the fluid line. Make sure it has a nice flow to it. Don't want to see the jaggedness here. Just kind of clean that up. All right. Looking pretty good. So now we're just going to look at the side view. Go ahead and give it a puffiness. We've got this eye here. Pull this back. I think we can start bulging this back inward a little bit because we're not near the eye socket. All right. Looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, we're out of energy, so I hit three. All right. It's starting to look pretty good. All right. So what I'm going to do is stop it there. What we're going to do is start appending on skull line right here in just a second start working on this jaw line up here and pretty soon we'll have to really start working on the maybe next tutorial the nose area but so far it looks pretty good